Hi, I'm Mark Madsen. I'm a CFA charter holder and a portfolio manager with Red Desert Capital. Prior to working for Red Desert Capital, I was a senior equity analyst with Wasatch Advisors, an investment management firm that managed several mutual funds and several billion dollars. Today we're going to start off by talking about mutual funds. A mutual fund accepts money from individual investors and invests in securities. It's an alternative source of investing in stocks and other assets. It provides investors who are unable to dedicate the time and resources needed to invest directly in equities, bonds, and other assets. Mutual funds are managed by an investment management firm that charges a small fee. A mutual fund manager then does in-depth research, manages, trades, buys and sells individual securities, and offers investors liquidity. Let's talk for a minute about mutual fund investment strategies and what differentiates different investment styles within mutual funds. Style strategies focus on the characteristics of the assets that are held within that fund. For instance, a growth strategy will focus on high PE stocks that are growing faster than their peers. A value strategy would be on the opposite end of the spectrum. They would invest in low PE stocks and they would be focused on trying to find investments that maybe don't have growth but are trading below their intrinsic value. Sector strategies refer to funds that invest within a specific industry or sector. An example of that might be a fund that invests only in technology, automobile, or energy stocks. It allows an investor to allocate their assets to one specific sector that they want exposure to. Another type of mutual fund strategy is an index strategy. Index strategies match the return to the index that they are trying to track. Funds own the securities in the index in the same proportion as the market value of those securities in the index which they are trying to track. Global fund strategies invest across the globe, worldwide, and also in U.S. domestic securities. Now, this is different. Often you'll see international mutual funds that invest only in securities outside of the United States. Another strategy within mutual funds are stable value funds. The main focus of these type of funds is the preservation of capital. They invest in assets that are safe and secure while also trying to ensure that there is some current income. Investments which provide timely principal payments and a set rate of interest. Mutual funds are divided into two different classes depending on whether or not they allow investors to redeem their money. The first class is open-ended funds. An open-end fund is one that does not have a definite liquidation date. Investors can take their money out at the end of any given day based on the net asset value of the fund's investments. A closed-end fund allows no redemptions to existing investors. Instead, shares are listed on a stock exchange where investors buy or sell their shares of these closed-end funds at a premium or a discount to what the net asset value already is. Fund managers for closed-end funds have an advantage. They do not face redemption pressure. If the market falls, they do not have many investors wishing to withdraw their money. For an open fund, a market fall could force the manager to sell investments at an unfavorable price. Let's talk for a moment about how mutual funds and their managers make money. A mutual fund may charge investors a front-end fee or a sales load. Usually this is between 0 to 3%. Closed-end funds are generally issued at a premium to their face value. 
open-end funds usually charge a sales load or commission. This charge is a percent of the money invested at the time the investors invest in the fund. Deferred sales load is a back-end fee that's charged at the time when investors redeem their investment from an open-ended mutual fund. This fee may vary depending on how long the investors have actually left their investment in the fund. The third way an investment management company managing a mutual fund makes money is by charging an annual expense. This expense is meant to cover the management fees, distribution fees, and the fees needed to cover administrative expenses. The operating efficiency of a fund is determined by looking at the amount of these fees divided by the assets of the fund. That will tell you what the fund's expense ratio actually is. Typically, the annual fees for a mutual fund would be around 1.5%. These fees are charged to shareholders on an annual basis and generally form the largest component of a fund's fee structure. The net asset value of a mutual fund is equal to the assets of the mutual fund less the liabilities of the fund divided by the number of fund shares. In other words, NAV is the value of net assets per unit of the fund. It's not that much different than the book value of a stock, which is the equity of the company divided by the number of shares. For an open-ended fund, the share price is equal to the NAV at the end of each day. For a closed-end fund, the actual price may differ from the NAV depending on whether the fund is trading at a premium or a discount.